सी ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन एंड द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट फाइंड द ऑक्जिलरी इक्वेशन सो रिप्लेस दिस डी बाई एम सो वी विल गेट एम क्यूब माइनस थ्री एम स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एम माइनस टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो now we'll find the roots let's choose uh, one value and uh, use the hit and trial method so if you choose 1 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 and plus 4 so you are getting 1 as your root so write one here now write the coefficients here so if you write the coefficients uh, the coefficients will be 1 Minus three, four, and minus two. Write one zero below this. Add. You will get one. Multiply this one by this one. You will get one. Write this one below. Add again. Minus two. Again, multiply this minus two with one. You will get minus two. Write that here. Add. You will get two. Again, multiply. You are getting two. Add, you are getting zero. Now this was cubic. This will be quadratic. So m square minus two times m plus two equals to zero. So m square minus two m plus two equals to zero. So let's find its roots. So m will be minus b plus minus under root b square, which is four. Minus four into a into c divided by two a. So this will be two plus minus uh, under root minus four by two. So two plus minus two iota divided by two. So this will be one plus minus iota. So your roots are first one is one plus iota. Second one is one minus iota, so we can write our complement. We can write our complementary function as this is of the form a plus iota b, and this is of the form a minus iota b. Complementary function is e power a x, so e power one x, c one cos b x, so cos of one into x. Plus c two sine b x. So this is your complementary function. Let's move ahead with the. Uh, be careful right here. This has three roots. One is also a root. So let's say that third root is one. So for this is one is real and distinct. So. We will write that as c three e raised to power one x. Okay, so we can write like this. Uh, you can take e power x common, moreover. So you will be left with c one cos x plus c two sine x plus c three. You would have written this uh, in the uh, in the beginning also, but that doesn't matter. Constant is a constant. Now. Particular integral is one upon f of d, which is d cube minus three d square plus four d minus two, and this will be operating on e power x plus cos x. So once it will operate on this, and then it will operate on cos x. So you know the rule for both of them: e power x and cos x also. In this, we just put a in place of d. So one upon a is one. So one minus three plus four minus two. So you are getting five minus five. That is zero. Okay. So this we just checked. So we'll not write this. Just we checked. We got denominator as zero. So what we do in that case? Multiply by one x, 
and then differentiate the denominator so 3d square minus 6d plus 4 will now operate on e power x plus here a is 1 so a square is 1 minus of a square is minus 1 so replace d square by minus 1 so 1 upon minus of d it will be d square by minus 1 so it will be plus 3 plus 4d minus 2 will operate on cos x so this will be 3d plus 1 so x now if you put 1 here so 3 minus 6 so it will be minus 3 and plus 4 so 1 so x by 1 is x only so you will get x e power x from the first one and plus 1 upon 3d plus 1 so what I am doing is multiplying and dividing by 3d minus 1 so x e power x plus 3d minus 1 at the top 9d square minus 1 in the bottom operating on cos x now uh, again replace d square by minus of 1 so you will get minus 9 minus 1 minus 10 so minus 1 by 10 so continuing x e raised to power x minus 1 by 10 and now 3d plus 1 is still left in numerator that will operate on cos x so x e raised to uh, power x minus 1 by 10 3 derivative of cos x is minus sin x so minus 3 sin x minus of cos x so this is x e raised to power x minus minus plus 3 by 10 sin x plus 1 by 10 cos x so this is your particular integral my final solution will be cf plus pi and your cf was e raised to power x c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus c3 and your pi is this plus 1 by 10 cos x so again a bit lengthy question but easy uh, once we use this trick and please don't remember this had three roots so for complex this was done and for real and distinct one this c uh, c 3 e power m 3 x so m 3 was 1 so e power x simply then we combined e power x and for particular integral we used two different rules and final answer was c f plus p i